Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Body Slam Media Productions on DailyMotion.com. I am your host, Kobe Rutland, here with my colleague, Nathan Gray. As we are in Jackson, Mississippi at the Hideaway for Pro Wrestling Ego Unite and Fight. As this contest consists of the son of the junkyard dog, Mike Carter, taking on the one and only Odinson, all the way from Georgia. Odinson is a very, very big man. As he is from Asgard. Yes, he, it is said that he is a brother of Thor. He's taking his time to start this match, trying to get in the head of JYD's son, Mike Carter. And let's see what they're going to do here. Carter's Mike. trying to get the crowd behind him right now. The Egomaniacs are right up here tonight in Jackson, Mississippi. And everyone hates Odinson. It's because he's white. And Rune Jackson. Mike Carter going to show him how it's done. One more time. All right, guys, quit, quit messing around. Let's get to some wrestling. One more time, maybe. Everyone's barking for Mr. Carter. Match is now underway. Odinson stalks his prey. And JYD Jr. Mike oh. definitely the fan favorite here. Strong pull lock up. Odinson. Oh, well, I thought wrong. I was going to say Odinson definitely outpowering JYD, but seemed pretty even at the moment. Try, still trying to get a feel of each other. Oh. Old school style lockup between Odinson and Mike Carter. Comes to the standstill. The Egomaniacs are loving it. Now, so it's worth noting we have recently teamed with PWR Slam Radio. So you can check us out on the 2D Sports Network on Blog Talk Radio every Wednesday at 9 8 Central. Now, so if you want to know more about Pro Wrestling Ego, Make sure you go to their website, ProWrestlingEgo.com, as well as their Facebook page. Odinson working that hold here. He's squeezing on the head of Mike Carter. And also, you can like us, Body Slam Media Productions, on Facebook. Make sure you follow us right here on DailyMotion.com. And we would love to give a shout-out to the all-promotional Pro Wrestling Network. As it is owned by none other than Bigger Up Enterprises. Mike Carter trying to get his own headlock in here. Let's see what Odinson can do from this. Odinson with a shot in the midsection. They seem pretty even strength-wise. Ooh! Like I said, they seem pretty even strength-wise. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Ooh, really. It's an immovable object and an unstoppable force. Oh, wow! Oh, Carter ducking. Oh, wow. Odinson. Whoa! Oh. Odinson catching him! We saw some pretty athletic moves there. Oh! Odinson with a huge uppercut in the corner. My car reversing, oh, oh! Headbutt's there. Another headbutt. One more. And oh. that's what I thought. One more. Just for good measure. Stalking him here. Oh! Oh, Otis in the verses! Wow! Only to belly drops him right on the back of his head. That took a lot of Mike Carter. Down here. 
He's got to wear him down just a little bit more. As this right here is what Pro Wrestling Ego has to offer. The best talent, not only in the state, but in the South. Exactly what I was about to say. Stole the words right out of my mouth. Choking him up the ropes here. He said he's just got to wear him down just a little bit more if he, was gonna, if he wants to win this. Odinson doesn't seem too fond of senior NWA referee Dave Miller. I think the fans think he looks kind of stupid. I don't know. He just looks really big to me. Do you think he looks stupid? I honestly do not believe the fans would say he looks stupid in his face. Yeah, a band that big, I wouldn't either. Ooh. That, that would be a death wish. That was a big drop kick there. Knocked him all the way out of the ring. Mike Carter bought himself some time to take a breather. Both men trying to readjust to this situation. Now coming out, going after Odinson running away, it looks like. Oh, never mind. Maybe he had a plan all along. Oh, no. They're on the apron. Anything can happen on the apron. Loving blows. Big slap right there from Mike Clark. Oh. And a bigger one from Odinson. Oh, knife has chop cutting him like butter. Oh. That's some tough butter there, though. Breaking Mike Carter in the eyes. Odinson gets back on the inside. Oh. oh. Slightly dirty there. Jerking the middle rope up to Mike Carter's crotch. No, 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 no. Oh! Big neck breaker there. This could be it. What I like to call the McGillicuddy neck breaker. You're a McGillicuddy neck breaker. Odinson working this hold. Like I said, he's just trying to wear Mike Carter down. I would definitely have to say that Odinson's my favorite to win this match. Am I allowed to pick favorites? Well, I say no one, not even Odinson, can defeat the blood of the junkyard dog. Odinson coming out there. Oh, wow, a big boot. Are you sure about that? Because I, I think he just kicked the blood of the junkyard dog out of his face. Odinson getting into it with some fans, inviting them into the ring. I think someone may have just thrown something into the ring. Oh, oh wow. Reminisce of Jigas Plisket. Using his power to wear him out. Throwing out Mike Carter. Of the ring. Oh, no. Just spilling out to ringside. Odinson not listening to the ref. Wants him to shut up. No, 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 no. Oh, ooh. Got to throw him into the ring post. Mike Carter's not going to have that. Ooh. Some clubbing blows to the back of the head. Oh, and it's framing Mike Carter head first on the apron. Rolls in to break the count. Rolls right back out to do more damage to Mike Carter. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh my God. What a little chop. Oh. Mike That's Carter going to get a slap of his own in. Ow! Oh, my God. You can hear that from the parking lot. What a chop. You can hear that in the Bulldog Stadium in Starville, Mississippi. Got him in the corner. Stomp him away. Wearing him down, doing as much damage, damage as he can. Great psychology, leveraging himself with the ropes. I was to Odinson. Mike Carter built some momentum and, def and was just put to a halt by a really, really big boot. 
followed up with the knee. Odinson looking for the win. Not able to get it. He's got to do just a little bit. He's got to have to pull out a little bit more than that. Um, Odinson not happy with that count. Having a word with senior official Dave Miller. He has him. Mike Carter in two-plex position. And if you listen to the kids here, they're definitely behind Mike Carter, JYD, and well, your older male audience. A bit more behind Odinson. And look at that. What a physique he's got. He was an amazing stall in suplex just a moment ago as well. That flex just made Brock Lesnar pee in his tidy whities Brock Lesnar really seems more of a man thong person to me. I mean, he does, doesn't he? I'll say that. I can't argue. I can neither confirm nor deny that. I think you, we all know that you could definitely confirm that for us. Let's see what Mike Carter's going to pull out of, out of his mystery pocket here tonight. Definitely trying to fight back here. Get a little bit of momentum. Oh, and Otison reverses. Now we're Wow! Oh, my God! What a move. Such power. That's got, this has got to be it. He's going to grab the ropes here. I can already tell. Oh! Right there. Just a little too close to call. Granted, the ref doing his job. We've Odinson's ego got in the way to drag Mike Carter in the middle of the ring. He's got to pay attention to that. Oh! Ooh. A vicious knee right to the head. Um, I think he just pointed up top. Is Odinson going up top? He, oh, wait. He is definitely working his way up. Oh, Mike Carter's not going to have it. He stopped Odinson. Uh-oh. We can see a big move here. Oh. Uh-oh. Like I said, big moves coming here. And, ah! Oh, my God. Did you see that? The ref jumped so high. Now the men have to answer the ref's 10 count. These egomaniacs are on the edge of their seats here tonight in Jackson, Mississippi. This is definitely a contender for match of the night. This is almost a contender so far for the match of the year. And you can definitely hear the fans. This is awesome. Ref at a six count. Both men working their way to their feet now. Here we go, JYD's up. Well, his son. Oh, oh, and a super kick, of course. It's not a wrestling match without a super kick. It's not what your mom said. Oh, wow! Two super kicks. Oh, he hit his head. I didn't look good. Otis had about fainted and even hit his head on the way down. Stomping. What's he gonna do here? What what is he doing? He's going up top. What? Is Ooh, he? A coast to no coast, way! Maybe? Oh and it was coast! Oh my god, I can't believe it! This is amazing! Oh and my cutter! With the victory! I can't believe it. Odinson had that match won. What a match from Mike Carter and Odinson. Either way, no matter who won, that was definitely best match of this night. Egomaniacs are going insane. For Mike Carter, another one just bit the dust. Good 
congratulations to Mike Carter for the victory here tonight. As the Nightmare Jeremiah has his eyes set on the son of the junkyard dog. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, now he's getting the kids in the ring. Odinson is completely furious. There we go. Not a celebration without dancing. The dogs are hiding away from Mike Carter. I got a cryptic message for all of y'all out there in television land on Body Slam Media Productions. You see that little dog in there, Mike Carter? The dog pound is not pleased, and we are paying attention. Dog pound out. Wow, what an announcement! That was Big Ramp from Big Ramp Enterprises. As it's worth noting that Big Ramp, his major advocate, is none other than the nephew of the junkyard dog, Rodney Mack. Wow, what an announcement from Big Ramp. Anything can happen. If Big Ramp says something's going to happen, that means something's going to happen. So keep your eyes out, ladies and gentlemen, for what Big Ramp Enterprises has coming from Mike Carter and, of course, here at Pro Wrestling Ego. But ladies and gentlemen, that's all she wrote. We will see you next time here on Body Slam Media Productions.